I have to share this meal with y'all. Oh my gosh. So it's three o'clock and I have that terrible habit of getting too busy and not eating. So I have a lot of carbs and a lot of protein I need to make up for. So this is about 65 grams of protein. I'm gonna put the macros on the screen for y'all. But I wanted to show y'all what it is because it's so delicious. This is Explore Asian is the brand and they have a whole bunch of bean pastas. And this is an edamame and mung bean fettuccine. Per serving, 24 grams of protein, 19 carbs, 10 grams of fiber. And I've got two servings in here. These are so good. And they take about five minutes to make. Really, really delicious. I got it on Amazon. I did one serving of pasta sauce, 50 grams of spinach, and then two servings of this Light Life Gimme Lean Meatless Veggie Sausage. Seven grams of protein per serving, which is not bad. And I really, really like this stuff. Texture, it's kind of springy, but it's really delicious it's got a really good flavor i like to encourage people whenever they're trying meat alternatives or things of that sort don't see it um, as something that's supposed to taste exactly like the animal product it's really just a literally just a replacement so whatever you would use so if you use ground beef before sub in the the uh, veggie crumbles but take it for what it is don't go into it thinking that it should taste like the cow meat go into it thinking that that this is a plant-based protein. What type of flavors are you looking for? You're looking for something savory. You're looking for something hearty and filled with protein, and that's what it is. I really, really enjoy all of the meat alternatives. They have their own flavor, they have their own texture, and let it be that, you know? I'm gonna eat this because I'm starving right now. Tomorrow's gonna be a really busy day. I have to go to Austin. I'm gonna meet with my mom. I'm gonna go to Austin and pick up, do my final dress fitting for my brother's wedding, which is next week. I'm gonna be in Austin all day, so I'm prepping food for tomorrow. I know that we're gonna be visiting some friends tonight in New Braunfels. I'm not gonna have time to make lunch. I'm not gonna have time to make breakfast. So I'm getting stuff ready right now. I keep dropping broccoli for tomorrow for lunch for Matt and I, as well as breakfast. Chopping up some broccoli and I'm going to steam it in our little steaming thingy and watching John Venus. And then I also have our smoothies ready in the fridge right here. This morning I will just pop this into our magic bullet with a little bit of cashew milk or water, blend it up. That's gonna be my breakfast. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and log my breakfast. So. I'm all set for the day. So I'm gonna log that smoothie in my fitness pal. I'm gonna get Matt's lunch ready, um, stick it in the fridge. I've already got my pre-workout sitting in the fridge right there. Just grab that and go, and then I'm gonna have my gallon ready with my creatine and my BCAAs in it as well. No excuses to not be prepared for tomorrow. So always plan ahead as much as you can, you guys. That helps tremendously adhering to your macro goals or to your workouts plan ahead. So I'm going to have my clothes ready. I'm going to have everything ready for the morning to make it easier for me. This is not okay. I don't know what the hell that thing is. Oh, you are not welcome in this house. Get out of my house. All right. So for Matt, I've got a bag of the steam fresh rice with some veggies on it. And I put soy sauce on there as well as some broccoli, and then I've got one of these little chicken patties heating up in the toaster oven. Lunch for tomorrow. Super simple, lazy, no excuses. Ready for movie night? Okay. At the office? Sure. <laughs> you comfortable in there? Matt's office, and we're gonna watch Game of Thrones season, we're on season five now. So I've got 100 grams each of kale and collard greens that I cooked with some salt and sweet earth Tuscan grounds, a flat out wrap, and then I've got some Kashi chocolate protein cereal, two packets of sugar-free oatmeal, and then Matt is having rice with veggies like I showed you guys and fried tofu that I made today, so we'll see how it turns out.
struggling today. Intro workout, snack, and a mental break. Cocktail soon. Well, today was rough. Um, I haven't had a tough workout like that in a while, but for whatever reason, my anxiety is bad today. Um, and that kind of just fueled, that kind of set the tone for the workout and I did it. So that's the most important part is I actually finished the workout, but there were so many times that I wanted to stop. Um, there were so many times that I just, I, I wanted to cry because <laughs> it was my higher rep day. So three sets of 12, um, Whenever you're doing three sets of 12 with squats and, and everything like that, like it gets hard real fast. And so like two exercises in, I think I started struggling real bad. Just an overall kind of fatigue, like lack of interest, anxiety, like focusing on the negative. And these are the type of workouts that it's so important to just finish as much as it sucks or as much as you want to walk out the door you are physically capable of finishing and I had to keep telling myself that I had to keep saying okay three more reps one more set one more exercise you can do this and I did and I'm glad I did but I don't feel better and it's not always going to happen you know, we, we push through hard workouts and you're not always going to feel like a sense of relief. You're just going to be like, well, that, that was that. Um, and if you have days like this, I would just encourage you to move forward. So I'm going to leave that workout there. It is what it is. I finished. It didn't make me feel exponentially better. It didn't make me feel exponentially worse, but it was just that it was kind of a neutral workout and, and that happens. It's going to happen. But it makes us stronger physically and mentally just getting through it. So next time that I do have a workout like this, I know that I'm capable of finishing, that I'm capable of just getting through it, even if I know it's not going to make me feel like a better person. And these days happen. And I, I haven't vlogged about a bad day in a while because I haven't had one. It's just kind of been things going along. The new program has been going great. My energy has been great, but today is just one of those days and, and we have them. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go spend the day with my mom. It's going to be a good day. I know it's going to get better. I just, bleh. That's all I so I post about, about this on Snapchat all the time, but my favorite order at Starbucks. Oh my gosh, you guys, you have to try this out. So this is a grande iced coffee. Get it in a venti cup with extra soy milk, sugar-free cinnamon dolce, sugar-free mocha, uh, stevia or splenda, whichever one, and then light ice. So you get like double the amount of drink. It's a lot less expensive than getting like an actual mocha because this would probably be about six or seven dollars, but it's three fifty. So yeah, definitely take a picture of this, you guys, and try it out let me know in the comments below if you've tried it and let me know what you think them ears all right guys so right now we're discussing with matt this is a real-time talk. Um, so what do, what do you want to do? What are your goals, Matt? What? We're not discussing. I'm just ranting. And, uh, I mean, it's I, just kind of like real deal, real world stuff. So. I know. So what I want, I want more cardio so I can basically stay on the wall longer. I'm thinking of training towards something, obviously. I don't really like just to work out. It's just not my thing. It's someone else's thing. And so I what I do... You have purposes. <laughs> Your purpose is to work out and then you have like hobbies underneath that, which is like climbing and oh I like paddle boarding and I like paddle boarding. How do you know? I'm training for a powerlifting meet. So you just work What's out. What's your purpose? What are you climbing for? You're That's working a hobby. out to work out more. Anyway. To be way more mobile on the wall. So flexibility is an issue. Uh, I used to do yoga a lot, so you did that P90 stuff, which is a little more 
I don't know. It's like bro it's, yoga. Yeah, it's like bro yoga. Broga. But that one's just tough, and so it makes me sweat also. What I'm looking to do is try to find a routine, something I can stick with. So the same thing that we do with our diet. It has to fit into our lifestyle. Our if I'm hungry, I eat. So I'm not hungry, I don't eat. We were gonna brainstorm something for Matt for figuring out how to get something into his schedule without taking up all of his time. So I figured it'd be a relevant topic to discuss because I'm sure a bunch of you guys might be in the same situation. You're trying to figure out how to fit some exercise or aspect of fitness into your lifestyle, but whenever you're working all day, every day, and then you have shit to do on the weekends, the last thing you want to do is go to the gym, right? What, what are your goals? What do you want to do per week? What type of exercises? So I have climbing, that's very consistent right now. What I'm thinking is, it's like climbing should be a reward to me after doing some kind of core workout. Um, you smell different. It's climb on. <laughs> My hands are like. Reward now. thyself. I can't write. Those are, that's not a word. You write this. Actually. Yeah, handwriting's all messed up now. I what? Can't. The pins. Gross now. It's messed up. It's really good for recovery for your hands, but don't try to write after or use your phone or type. Let's break it down by weekday. Dude. Oh, and this, by the way, is when it helps to have a coach if you have specific goals. So say if he wanted to just get into the gym, it would be beneficial for him to have somebody write out him a program so that he wouldn't have to think about it. Okay, what are our climbing days? Tuesday, okay. Thursday? No climbing Thursday. Sunday, I have cycle. Saturday, Sunday. Monday, Wednesday. You can do so Monday, Wednesday. Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Okay. I mean, like, I'm not gonna put that down yet because what comes before that? It's gonna be climbing or a core workout. Okay. Because like I said, I wanna do a core workout, even if it's just Something. Just one set, or you know, one, or not one set, anything but anything uh, is better than nothing. Squats, because I do, I do zero now. Yeah. So anything will help. Yeah. So okay. squats Monday. Yeah, squats then climb. I'll try to figure out where I put yoga and and run. Well, let's in. figure out the compound right. lifts first. That's what I'm Wednesday, yeah. bench, then climb. And then Friday or Saturday, just depending on which day you'll do. I'll put it on Saturday for now. Dibs. Now I need. All right. So we've got Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Saturday, you can all see this, um, is gonna be his compound lifts. And then we're starting with super simple, so squat then climb, because we climb three times a week, so he will already be in the gym, he'll have access to the compound lifts, to the weights, um, so that's that. My second priority is endurance on the wall, ah, so okay. running. So I can't run in the morning, so I don't have time. I can make time. Depends, because sometimes you're, running I, I feel great. I feel better. I guarantee you would feel better. You'd be awake. You just might run in the dark. Yeah, right now it's be running. Well, no matter what, I'm running in the dark. All right. So we're running in the mornings. We'll try that out. I'll do it on. We'll start three times a week, and I'll do it on my off days. I say start twice a week. <clears throat> so it's Tuesday, Thursday, right now. Or even make it easier for yourself and do one on the weekend, so I then you oh, don't do have Tuesday. to run in the dark. Or Tuesday, and then maybe I would say Sunday. I want to stay consistent with it. So but you're also doing climbing and compound lifts. So I would say start with twice, because as of right now, you're not doing anything except climbing. You're already adding in compound lifts three times a week and running twice a week. A really good start. Do that for three weeks, and then... So you said what day? Uh, maybe, what about like Sunday morning? So that leaves us with today, deadlifts and climbing. Yeah. Cool! Yay! All right, so this is a very, very rough draft of what he's going to be doing, but essentially he decided he wanted to compound lift, so we added in squat, bench, deadlift just once a week, nothing fancy. And then he wanted to add in some endurance, so we added in two days of running. Give it a go for a couple weeks, see how you feel. Maybe you guys can help me hold him accountable. Yeah, leave comments below if you're gonna help this guy stay accountable. Comment below. Finishing things up. Let's, let's support Matt's, Matt's goals. Yoga and stretching. Yoga on either Saturday or Sunday. You do that at Crux. To really loosen me out, and then somewhere throughout the week, I'll do a longer stretch. You do it at Crux. Support Matt in the comments. <sighs> Follow up in a couple weeks. Um, let's see how his goals go. Yay, Matt. Okay. Bye, Before guys. we close out this week's vlog, I have to show y'all. Matt decided, and then I just decided right now that our favorite restaurant in San Marcos is Pie Society, and it's a pizza place, but they have vegan cheese. And while we were there today, um, we found out that their garlic knots that they have on their menu are vegan as well. So we obviously already ate one, uh, but it comes with marinara sauce. And the stuff that they put on it is in oil, like an olive oil, 
um, with some seasonings. And yeah, these are delicious, like so freaking good. And then the pizza we got, uh, we had a free pizza because of their Instagram thing that they do. And it's vegan cheese with artichokes and mushrooms. And I'm gonna add some spinach when we get home. I'm like, rating of one to 10. Well, this has got like a nine, 10 for me. Gotta leave room for improvement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'd say like 9.9. .9 on that. This pizza is really, really good. The crust is delicious. Of course, the cheese is awesome. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Leave you guys with this. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching.